So I've been running this pump for about two years now. This is not the original wood miser pump, but before I told anybody, hey, this will work or not, I wanted to test it and make sure the pump would, you know, function and longevity work right. So you can see um, it plugs in exactly where the wood miser one went. And the only thing that you've got to do is leave your connector like it is right here, cut the two wires in the back, and then just plug them into the wires that come onto this. Do not cut your connectors here and here and wire them together. Leave this like it is in case you ever want to put an original wood miser lube system on. But this is a direct replacement for uh, your lube miser pump. And uh, if you're like us, sometimes people working for you or yourself, you forget water in this and then you'll bust the pump. So these are about a hundred and something dollars from Wood Miser. And I'll put the link down in the bio, but you can get these pumps online for anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. And it comes with all the little rubber garments, mounts, everything. And it will mount right up to your plate where your Lube Miser system is. Um, I'm also gonna show you, I'll put the link to this in the bio too. You can get these online. Uh, it's handy to have one of these bulbs in case this cracks or anything. You can see where it's kind of eroding in there. This is probably the second one I've put on the whole time I've had this meal. Um, but even when they freeze, you, you, you know, it goes up in there and freezes all through here, the pump, everything. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a trick also to troubleshoot your lube miser system to figure out what's wrong with it now to normally get your lube miser system to come on you have to start the mill and then you have to engage the blade and the way it's set up the lube miser will only spray while the mill's going through backwards like towards the uh, log, when you're going through the log. To bypass that, you can turn the key on and then hit this right here, which will engage the blade and you'll see it kind of kick the motor up, up there. Now the mill's not started. As you can see, um, it, it's just at the normal voltage and there's, there's no RPM. But to bypass having to um, start the meal so you don't have your blade running I'm going to show you guys a trick so you push this button here and then make sure you know make sure your keys on kick the blade on and then normally if you try to go forward it'll say engine must be running for hydraulic function and the lubrizer will not kick on but to bypass that this button here is cruise control on your wood miser. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this lever and this at the same time and make it think that it's already in cruise control and it bypasses you having to um, start the meal and have it running to work your loops. I'll show you on here. So I'm gonna pull this at the same time, and then I'm gonna push this. Now look out there. See my loop miser's kicked on. Take you guys out and show you, but it sa still says engine must be running. Let's see if I can zoom in here and get you to see it. See it shooting water out there? So that bypasses you having to start the mill because as you can see, I don't have it started or anything. The mill's not running. And what that gives you the opportunity to do is to be able to go out here, and I'm gonna take you guys out here. That gives you the ability to go out here and hear that the pump's running. But like, let's say that you're over here and your eyes 
aren't squirting. You can you can see which eye is not squirting, and then also if your pump isn't running, then you'll know that you've got a fuse in here that you probably need to change. And that gives you the ability, because when the motor's running and you're out here trying to listen to this, you can't hardly hear it. So you've got to put your hand on it to know that it's running. But also, while this is running and the motor's not running, the blade's not running, it's quiet out here, you can watch all of this function correctly. So like, let's say that the motor is running, both of your eyes are um, not clogged up, but you still don't have water going through there, then you're gonna know that either one of these um, ball valves, pressure valves, little spring-loaded valves are clogged up, or this is clogged up, or this one over here. Now, these are little three PSI check valves. They're from Smart Products. You can call them and get them, or you can order them. I get them from eBay. Um, but all of this stuff you're able to get online or at Lowe's for a lot less cost. But I'll put the link in the bio for some of this. Hopefully it helps some of you guys. i show you guys the Lubemizer system spraying. Go figure, my bottom eye's clogged up, but you'll be able to see the top one right now. Now this, this pump does have a slightly higher pressure rating but there's a screw on top of the pump that you can turn down or up to change the pressure on it. Um, and if you don't like the pressure as high as this, then you can just back the screw out some so it doesn't have near the pressure. Zoom in a little bit here and give you closer look at it.